All right, let's talk about something that's got to be one of the most frustrating things in medicine. What happens when a broken bone just won't heal? Today, we're diving into a really cool scientific review that uncovered a surprising solution, a drug that seems to have a hidden talent for fixing fractures that were thought to be unfixable. Let's get into it. I mean, really think about that for a second. It's a situation most of us just take for granted, right? You break something, you get a cast, and after a few weeks or months, you're pretty much back to normal. But what if that last step just never happened? What if the bone simply stayed broken? Well, this isn't science fiction. It's a very real and very serious challenge for a lot of people. So to really understand what we're up against, we need to talk about a specific medical condition called a non-union fracture. And believe me, it's a much bigger deal than you probably think. Get this, somewhere between 5 and 10% of all bone fractures fail to heal correctly. Now, that might not sound like a huge number at first, but when you think about how many people break bones every year, that's a massive number of folks left with a chronic, life-changing problem. This isn't some rare thing. It's a major headache for orthopedic surgeons everywhere. The official term is non-union, and the scientists who wrote the paper we're looking at call it a devastating complication. And that's not an exaggeration. Just imagine it. Constant pain, not being able to use a part of your body, and facing the possibility of more and more surgeries, each one with its own risks. It creates these huge functional and frankly socioeconomic problems for patients. Okay, so that's the problem. But what if there was another way forward? A treatment that didn't mean going under the knife again? This is where our story takes a really interesting turn, and we meet an unlikely hero. A hormone with a very special secret. At the center of all this is something called parathyroid hormone, or PTH for short. Now its main gig in the body is to be the calcium manager, making sure everything is balanced for strong, healthy bones. But PTH has this weird kind of two-faced personality. And this right here is the paradox, and it is fascinating. See, if your body has constantly high levels of this hormone, it actually does the opposite of what you'd want. It breaks bone down, it leads to bone loss, but and this is the absolute key, if you give the body small, periodic doses, like a little bit each day, it flips a switch and does the exact opposite. It has a powerful anabolic effect, which is just a fancy way of saying it builds new bone. How wild is that? Same hormone, totally different results. So, scientists took this incredible discovery and created a drug called teriparatide. It's basically a synthetic piece of that bone-building hormone. For a long time, it's been a go-to treatment for osteoporosis, where it literally builds up new bone in people who are losing it. So you can see the question that popped into researchers' minds. If this stuff can build brand new bone, could it be the key to finally healing these unbreakable fractures? To figure that out, you can't just rely on a few good stories. Scientists needed to do the hard work of gathering all the evidence out there and analyzing it in what's known as a systematic review. This is how you find out if something really works. And when I say hard work, I mean it. They started with a mountain of research, over 5,000 articles. From there, they had to carefully filter everything down, looking only for the highest quality studies. They ended up with 20 key studies, focusing on a total of 64 patients who've been treated with this drug for their non-union fractures. This was the most complete look at the data ever done. All right, so after sifting through thousands of papers and crunching all that data, what did they find? Well, the results were, and I'm not exaggerating here, pretty incredible. Just look at that number, 95.3%. Let that sink in. That is the percentage of patients in this review whose non-healing, unbreakable bones went on to completely heal after treatment with Terry Paratide. A success rate that high for a problem this tough is, well, it's almost unheard of. So let's break that down. Out of 64 people, 61 of them saw their bones fully mend. The treatment itself was simple, usually just a small daily injection. But here's the part that might be the most amazing of all. Across all of these studies, with follow-ups lasting as long as two years, there were zero, not one side effects reported. So it wasn't just effective, it appeared to be amazingly safe too. And the study's authors, they did not hold back. Based on all this evidence, they came right out and said it. We highly suggest the use of such drug as it is highly effective and safe. You know, in the world of cautious scientific papers, that's about as strong a recommendation as you're ever going to see. So, with results like that, the big question becomes, what now? What does all this mean for the future of treating these awful injuries? The main takeaway here is pretty clear. 
This review gives us really powerful evidence that teriparatide could be a total game changer for doctors and patients. A simple, safe, non-surgical option for a problem that, up until now, has often meant more and more invasive procedures. Now, of course, like with all good science, there's an important little asterisk here, a note of caution. Most of the data we have so far comes from what are called observational studies. And while they're super promising, they aren't considered the final word. To really truly lock this down, the authors say we need more randomized controlled trials, which are the gold standard for medical research. And that leaves us with this one huge, exciting question. The potential is just massive. If those more rigorous trials confirm what we're seeing here, could a simple daily injection one day take the place of complex surgery for people whose bones just won't heal? It's a future that, thanks to this kind of research, feels a whole lot closer now.